Let's go, boys. UFC 291. It's a meat lock. You see the text. Back off an easy work meat lock dog. Thanks a lot, Mick Parkin, for getting us that 78th meat lock, getting us right back in the green, and plan to continue it in this meat lock here where our boy Alex Pajeda is taking on Jan Blahovic. And we think that this maybe should have been for the 205 belt, given how all the uh, drama went down the last few weeks with Jamal Hill getting injured and relinquishing. But nonetheless, it is a co meet opportunity and one where we anticipate Alex Pajeda to really just make a name for himself at this 205 division. And while we are well aware that Jan Blachowicz is the legendary Polish power, we know what he did to Izzy when Izzy tried to do the same thing and jump up to 205. But we're talking about Alex Pajeda in this one. We're not talking about Adesanya. And we think that all of the training that AP does with Glover on the regular and the fact that this dude is just a massive 205er coming from 85 he's gonna have what it takes to take out the 40 year old Jan Blahovich who the last time we saw him it was for a title fight the vacant belt was on the line and it ended up being a split draw one however where most I think thought that Ankalaev probably should have got the nod but nonetheless the judges didn't think either man did enough to win and it was just kind of a strange fight and that was at this point about six months ago and the last time we saw AP was just a couple months ago when we know the story right he dominated the first round then he just got absolutely slept and then sniped with the bow and arrows a few times by Adesanya but nonetheless AP is jumping up to 205 hungry ready ready to even though he's not getting the belt this Saturday get it in the next fight for sure and we think it's a meat lock nonetheless, meat. So what are your thoughts on this one? How do you think Jan Blahovic gets absolutely smoked by our boy Pajeda in this one? And is it going to be early or often? You know, I think this is going to be an early and often. You know, this is a great fight. You know, Polish brother and John, uh, that is my guy. But I just think Pereira is another level. And I think being up in his more natural weight class, he's going to do way better. Like, I think Izzy is a legit 185er. Clearly couldn't hang with the 205ers. I think... Pereira barely made 185 and was draining himself so I think he's going to perform way better he's going to be way stronger and if he touches Blahovic, he's going to send him to the shadow realm this is going to be a very good fight it could even be a close fight I mean look at these odds are very close but I am a believer in Pereira and I think they're pushing him in the right direction but Blahovic is 40 years old, right? He's the smaller guy. He's got lo less reach. Um, people are going to be worried about him grappling Pereira. But like you said, you know, he's training with Glover. He should be prepared. And I don't think uh, Blahovic will be able to hold him down if he somehow does get him down. But very excited for this lock. Pereira should get this done by KO. Yeah, with you all the way, Tapology has seen it in a similar fashion as well. Even though the slight minority is rolling with Pajeda, 48%, it's basically all brown for that KO. So those who are backing Alex think that the that he'll be able to get, uh, get it done by the strikes for sure. And 52% is rolling with Blahovic, so a majority is fading the meat lock. But nonetheless, we must stick to our gut. And just like we picked the meat lock dog last week of Mick Parkin, a.k.a. Meat Lockin, he got it done, and we anticipate Pajeda to do the same as well. And I'm glad you touched on the height and reach advantage that Pajeda will have. We think that he'll be able to just kind of snipe away at Jan, and if he's able to stuff enough of those takedowns, then Jan, even though very competent on the, pe on the feet, is going to be uh, sort of a fish out of water when trying to strike with Alex Pajeda. So it should get us our 79th meat lock for sure. Again, we're going to be throwing down a simple 105. It's going to net 100. 79th meat lock in the books. And uh, Pajeda, one step away from the title after this, big boy? Yeah, I think he gets the title shot right after this. And it could even be Jury um, or it could be Uncle Live. I'm very excited to see who he gets. But, uh, you know, 205 is looking very juicy lately. Um, I feel a little bad that Hill had that uh, injury. It's like, oh, man. You know, there's been a lot of bl bad luck in that division, but I think, uh, you know, high hopes are coming. Good things on the way. Sure, boys. Let us know down below if you are rolling with the meat lock in this one. Let us know if you cashed on me uh, Mick Parkin last week and uh, take it to the grill and get the bill.